I keep hearing the occasional knock coming from behind us as we're walking out here. I'm making him sit and stay. I just heard one before I turned the camera on again. Morning guys, Gary and Gage, going for a bushwalk. Well, we're gonna go for a drive first. We're gonna see if we can get some photos. So I've got two cameras, one phone. We're going for a drive. I don't know where, I don't care where. I just have to get out of the house. So we're gonna go look for some nice winter scenes. And then I've got some bush trails, maybe 50, 60 kilometers south of here that I wanna go just check out, go for a walk and look uh, for signs and things down there just because it's new territory and we haven't been there. So let's go for a drive. I know, buddy. I'll just be a minute. So I think this trip is gonna have to be about old buildings, okay? Because the light conditions today, we're not gonna get great scenery, but I do know where there's some great old 100, 150 year old structures that are falling down and it'd be great to get scenes in the winter, which I don't have a lot of so let's focus on that and I'm going to start today with those two old buildings back there. Yes I know we'll go for a run in a little bit we got to do work first. Pictures first. Oh, you whine like a cat. I should have just got a cat. Probably would whine less. <laughs> I feel for you, buddy. Ah, crap. I forgot the drone. <laughs> I wanted to get some drone shots out here, but uh, we'll have to do it another day, I guess. Well, I lied. There might be a scenery shot there with that tree and down in the field. Let's go take a look. What do whiners say? Yeah, that's right. Wait up. We'll run the wine out of you. That plan backfired. He got back in the truck and he did a turner and hooch. He shook slobber all over me, the truck. Stay, you're gross. Okay, stay buddy. Can we carry on with our trip now? Are you done whining? Hey? So there's some crazy demon skull thing over here. I'll show you, there's the scary little house that it's uh, and the guy just came out, I pulled over to take a picture, and he's like, uh, can I help you? I said, no, I'm just gonna take a picture. <laughs> I'm sure he's friendly in a crazy bush, winter fevered cabin, COVID, non-socializing kind of way. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Maybe it's to keep trespassers away. Ew, porcupine roadkill. I think that guy got hit by a vehicle right here off the road. Doesn't look like anything's gotten to him yet. I don't think I'll let Gage out of the truck anywhere near here. <laughs> Ew. Just stopped and took a nice picture of a big barn right on the side of the road here. And the guy happened to come out just as I was taking the picture, so... He actually gave me a nice big friendly wave. <laughs> Things are getting better. <laughs> oh, 
Whole herd of turkeys crossing the road. We don't get a lot of turkeys up here. Got to get the camera for this one. Yeah, so turkeys were just introduced here in the last seven, eight years. And I don't get a lot of them around my place, but 50, 60 kilometers south here where there's a lot more farmland, they're starting to make a pretty good comeback. And anyone who puts out feeders like the farmers and stuff for the deer and that, the turkeys are kind of coming in and taking over, which is a good thing. We can actually hunt turkeys up here again now, which we haven't been able to do for like a hundred years. I got a couple good photos, so check them out. There's a friend for Gage. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be friends with Gage. No, we're not going to let you out to chase the cat. Next, moving on. So we're 65 kilometers south of my place. I just found a nice little road to walk with Gage. And it's actually started to rain slash hail. So I don't know if I should just take the phone or if I should bring a camera. I think it's more uh, hail than rain. So we'll grab a camera and bring one with us. Gage is going nuts here, running circles around the truck. So because we're south, the moose and the deer tend to come down here to the farmer's fields. And they uh, winter up, they herd up down here for the winter. So you never know what we'll see. I'd like to see a moose. I haven't seen one in quite a while. More a chance to see deer, but... Hey, we got turkeys already, so I'm feeling that no matter what, I got something to show you. So I guess my mom's been watching the channel. She called me yesterday and uh, she said, I, I left her a message saying that I'm sick, so don't come over, I have a head cold. And you never know, she just drops by sometimes. And uh, so she called me back and said, I saw your video, you're sick because your hat, your ear flaps were blowing around. <laughs> so. I said, no, I don't think the hat had anything to do with it, Mom, but she's watching the channel, so I better be good. So I'm keeping a good eye out here along the roadway as I'm walking. I'm looking for structures that we have like around my place, teepees, and I never seem to find them anywhere, very rarely. I think we found two. In all the kilometers that I drove last year with my dad, out at my dad's place on the four-wheeler trails, hundreds of kilometers him and I would go for a whole day's ride and there was like one big structure that we found you know three four inch around trees all pushed in in one direction against each other just in one little spot almost looked like a mini avalanche you know 75 feet and there was 10 trees all pushed over snapped off pushed over bent broken whatever it's on one of the videos I can't remember which one but that one to me was very strange and all these places that I go look, I'm I'm like, I think my theory is that if I could find more of these teepee structures like I do around my house, then I could just say, well, yeah, it's just a naturally occurring random thing where five or six lodge poles get pushed into the shape of a teepee from all different angles into a central point. The more I the more I talk about it, the less sense it kind of makes, right? Because if snow load or things are pushing things over, it's all everything goes in one direction. But how can we keep getting five or six or seven poles from all different directions pushed into a central area? I don't I can't really explain it, but if we could find more of them, I think I was gonna say that we could say it's more chance of a natural phenomenon, but I don't know. This is kind of what I'm, I'm saying here about natural. Like there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, another one on the ground, six. They're all pushed down. They're all leaning. Each one of them is leaning in a different direction. One going up that way, one going away from me back, one going to the left, another one going back. You know, that seems natural to me. When they all come together in one central point, that doesn't seem natural to me. 
Yes, I washed my gloves. Yeah, so here we've got a pull down. So this road just goes in maybe a mile and a half before it dead ends and turns into Skidoo Trail. I didn't want to drive right to the end of it because I wasn't sure how bad the road was, so we're just walking it. Yeah, I just needed to get out of the house today and go for a drive. Nice to see some new country. Everything's new. You're, you're kind of paying attention more because you never know what you're going to see. I mean, I, I love walking my own property and the trails around our house are fantastic. We're so lucky to have the neighbors that we do that we all share and it's great. But I know where every structure is. I know where every broken tree is, <laughs> you know, for six square miles around my place. So we got to get out and find some new spots. And we're going to do that as it gets nicer. We're going to do a lot of that. I just heard something knocking over there in the bush. We were recording. Maybe I got it. I don't know. Just a day in the woods, eh, Gage? Just a day in the woods. So there's an old pit back here, too, I forgot about. And uh, the road obviously ends right here. And the snow machine trail is just down here. Oh, somebody's being bad. So now he's going to heal the two miles back to the truck. Eating poop again. I've had it. Enough. Enough is enough. Knocking. Three knocks? It's not a woodpecker. 100% it's not a woodpecker. There's another one. It's crazy. I don't know that the phone is actually picking up what I'm hearing, so I, I might look really crazy. But I'm telling you guys, I wish I had the camcorder with the Rode mic, but there's something knocking back there. I, I don't know. And, and no, I did not just walk away. I've waited 10 minutes each time to see if, it's, if it repeats, and it doesn't. And then I walk 200 yards down the road, and I hear another knock, so then I stop and record again, so... Oh, uh, it's a weird one. Alright.